Skyworks is well positioned to enjoy the 5G revolution, it has a splendid balance sheet, it is even growing its dividend yield. But who is the mystery customer which the company is highly dependent upon? Join me and my puppy for today's analysis when we try to answer the question, is Skyworks stocks overpriced? Disclaimer as always, this is not a financial advice and you should not listen to YouTubers when making your own decisions. We're gonna go over the 5G opportunity, the mystery customer, check the balance sheet, value at the company, look at the charts and come to conclusions. If we check the 5G scenario, we're going to see there's going to be a huge increase in infrastructure and beside the usual use cases like people talking to the phone or using mobile applications, there's going to be a higher rate of people working from home, connected uh, car autonomous driving, Internet of Things and many many more connected devices. How can this benefit Skyworks? Well Skyworks are special in analog devices. They're making RF filters, amplifiers, antennas and RF frontends like their leading uh, product which is Sky5 which is an RF frontend which includes everything you need for transmission from mixers to antenna to demodulators and it even has its own GPS chip included in this RF frontend. If we check where Skyworks products are needed we can see of course they're needed in the mobile industry in phones, computers, computers and laptops, also in the Internet of Things segment like smart medicine, smartwatches, connected uh, traffic lights, connected traffic networks and so on, in the automotive industry for connected cars and autonomous driving and of course in many emerging areas like smart agriculture, smart logistic lines and many more. Their customers list shows the same picture with many big names in the communication area like Cisco, Nokia, Vivo, Xiaomi, Oppo and LG. Many big names in the car industry like Toyota, Volkswagen, Ford, GM and even Tesla and many big names like Amazon and Microsoft. But their biggest customers is of course Apple. How big? We'll see in a second. So why 5G is so important for Skyworks? Well, we can see that for every generation that it's passing in the mobile networks, Skyworks are selling more dollar worth of components to the companies they're working with. So all of this looks great. More sales due to 5G. Apple is the biggest customer. What could go wrong? Well, Apple is also the risk. Come on, how can Apple be a risk? This is the best company in the world. Well, Apple is about 56% of Skyworks revenue. And if Apple's revenue will go down, especially if the number of uh, iPhone units shipped in the world will decrease, it will have a direct impact on Skyworks revenue. Checking the revenue, we can see a big spike during the 4G deployment and then some sort of a plateau. Same things go with cash flows. And to summarize the business, 5G is a huge opportunity for Skyworks to grow their business and their revenue, but they need to diversify the customer's base because Apple is about 56% of revenue and this is too risky. So Skyworks business looks great. Let's check the balance sheet. Looking at the short-term assets, we can see they have more than $1 billion in cash, receivables of about $700 million, and the total is uh, $1,710,000,000. Looks good, short term liabilities are a total of uh, 507 million and the current ratio is 5 which is excellent. Looking at the long term debt it's about 155 million and it's all covered by cash which is a big 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 like. So Skyworks balance sheet looks very good. Now let's move to valuations. By the way guys if you like the content so far please consider subscribing. Thank you. We will use price to earning future growth model and a discounted cash flow model and we'll try a little trick with the price to sales valuation. Here we can see Skyworks historical price to earning with a median of 18.7. We can see the history of earning per share, we can see here the 4G spike and then we enter the plateau and reduce margins and we're expecting to see the 5G spike in the upcoming two years. Of course we can see it here in analyst estimations for the upcoming two years and from that point on we're going to use a growth rate of 12% which will decrease gradually to 5% as we get further away from the 5G spike. Required weight of return is 7.5 and a safety margin I'm going to use a PE of 16 instead of the median of 18.7. All of this will give me a fair value of $142. Let's try the discounted cash flow model. We put analyst estimations of cash flow based on revenue. For that I used the median free cash flow to revenue of 0.22 based on the historical data of Skyworks. We can see the huge spike when moving to 5G and later down the road, 4 years from today, margins starting to reduce. We take everything and imply it into the model and we require a rate of return of 7.5%, a perpetual growth rate for cash flows 2.5, divide everything by number of shares outstanding, come up with a value of almost $138. Well, we have some difference between the two models, so let's try a third model to help us to decide. We're going to use a method based on price to sales. We can see here the historical data for Skyworks price to sales. We can see a huge spike in the past two years, but the median is 4.6. 
We're going to use this information to help us to derive the stock price. We're going to use next G revenue based on analyst estimations, number of shares standing, and the median historical PE of 4.6. And from this, we're going to derive the stock price, which is 100 and almost $137. Summarizing all the valuations data, we can see that the current price is simply overpriced. Let's try to find some more insights in the charts. Here is Skywork's stock chart starting at uh, right after the dot com crash and we can see one big impulse move from 2009 until today. This move behaves like an Elliott wave pattern with an upgoing wave number one, a correction wave number two, another impulse wave number three, correction wave number four and the final stage wave number five. The question we should ask ourselves is the number five wave exhausted or does it have some more juice in the tank to push further growth? Anyway. After such a big move up that behaves according to the Elliott wave pattern, we can expect to see a very big correction. Let's look at the shorter time frame. Checking the shorter time frame, we can see an area of resistance right here around the 195 price level. And we can see a possible area of support right uh, around here, I would say. 100 to 55 perhaps even higher to 165 why are these levels so important because if the price breaks about the 195 level we can assume there is some juice left in the fifth wave tank and prices will go higher but if it breaks below this uh, area of 155 to 165 we can expect a correction for the huge move that started at march 2020 and lasted until today how big of a correction well if we run a simple fibonacci retracement tool we can see the numbers over over here and any number between uh, 147 to 117 will be a winner in that case so let's wrap everything up and move to conclusions by the way if you like the content guys please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up skyworks is well positioned to enjoy the revolution of 5g but it is highly dependent upon one customer and diversified customer base. Stock price looks overvalued and the chart suggests that a big correction is waiting around the corner. So drop a comment below and let me know what do you think about Skyworks price. Is it overvalued or not? And until next time, do not listen to YouTubers and say goodbye to my puppy. Ciao!